Hello everyone, my name is Sanjeev Pillai, Lead Engineer at Enago Project Tendal and I have been working in our Dubai office since 2018. Here I am going to share the project details of Etihad Rail. Overhead transmission line modification was recently completed in connection with the Etihad Rail network expansion in the UAE. Etihad Rail PJSC is the developer and operator of the UAE's national railway network. Part of the national railway network is the freight railway to be constructed in three stages which will link five facilities across the UAE and form part of the planned GCC rail network. Our company has completed two projects associated with Etihad Rail. The first project was a feasibility study and conceptual design for modifying the existing overhead transmission lines all over UAE to resolve the crossing and parallel conflicts with the proposed rail alignment under stage 2 and 3 of freight railway expansion. The second project was the consultancy service for the EPC execution of the overhead transmission line modification works in the index of Dubai under package 2C. The main consultant Jacob appointed Energo project as a specialized power transmission sub consultant to provide the requisite engineering services for studies for OHL conflicting with the new rail alignment and the design of the OHL modification works as necessary to resolve the conflicts. There were several overhead power transmission lines that potentially conflicted with the new rail alignment. These OHL conflicts were required to be identified, surveyed and verified against the specification and clearance requirement. And if confirmed as actual conflict with respect to the design of rail alignment and specific clearance, suitable OHL modification works have to be designed and executed in advance of the rail construction to eliminate the conflict. In this regard, EP carried out an extensive site investigation for all stages and routes in order to identify all potential OHL conflicts with the new rail alignment. At the same time, the concerned transmission owners have been contacted and advised on the identified potential OHL conflicts. Our scope was to design and develop the optimum solutions for all the identified rail OHL conflicts to eliminate the conflicts while considering the requirements of Etihad Rail and asset owners. We are glad to highlight that, despite several challenges which include coordinating with the multiple utilities where different processes and procedures are to be followed, and the unique requirements from some of the utilities, the project was delivered within the schedule. At present, the OHL modification works are either fully completed or are in the process of being completed in various emirates in synchronization with the rail construction. I would also like to highlight here the extension of this project recently secured by Energlo. As a part of ER network expansion, sequel to the stages explained earlier, Etihad Rail planned for a passenger services in the UAE running on their flight network. The scheme is being developed for implementation, connecting 11 cities and region across the UAE. Currently, we continue to be involved in this project as an extension of the main contract and design and approvals are progressing. Regarding the second project, the consultancy service for the execution of the overhead transmission line modification works in the Emirates of Dubai under package 2C. This project comprises 13 locations where the existing Diva transmission line need to be modified to facilitate the rail crossing as per the agreed solution during the feasibility stage. We have successfully completed 29 outages during 2020-2021 outage window and 21 outages during 2021-2022 outage window. Thus, altogether with 50 outages, the overhead line modification at the affected 13 conflicts has been com completed and accordingly, all the OHL rail conflicts in the Emirates of Dubai have been eliminated to facilitate the rail construction. In order to avoid any uh, disruption to the track laying, the OHL modification works were aligned and executed in a way to prioritize the location in the direction of track level. The location of the affected extra high voltage line was one of the major milestones towards the rail construction and was achieved with a shorter duration with the extended support of all stakeholders. Here concludes the overview of the OHL modification project undertaken by Energo associated with the Etihad rail construction. I would like to thank you for your attention and wish you a pleasant day.